Solwind. 78 1 or Solwind was a United States satellite launched aboard an Atlas F rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California on February 24, 1979. The satellite operated until it was destroyed in orbit on September 13, 1985 to test the ASM-135 ASAT anti-satellite missile. Construction and Payload The satellite's orbiting solar observatory OSO platform included a solar-oriented sail and a rotating wheel section. Ball Aerospace was the primary contractor for design and construction and provided the Attitude Control and Determination computer programs. The 78 one carried a gamma-ray spectrometer, a white light coronagraph, an extreme ultraviolet imager, an X-ray spectrometer, a high-latitude particle spectrometer, an aerosol monitor, and an X-ray monitor. The X-ray monitor, designated NRL 608 or XMON, was a collaboration between the Naval Research Laboratory and Los Alamos National Laboratory. The white light coronagraph and the ultraviolet imager were combined in a single package, designated NRL 401 or Solwind, which was built by the Naval Research Laboratory. The coronagraph was the flight spare of the white light coronagraph on the OSO-7 satellite. The ultraviolet imager used a CCD imager, one of the first uses of a CCD in space. Discovery of Comets 78 1 was the first satellite in space to discover a comet in general and a sun grazing comet in particular. In total, nine sun grazing comets, all belonging to the Cutes group. Apart from these, yet another comet C-1984 Rhone Solwind was found by Rainer Cratched on 23 July 2005 in Solwind's images. Its perihelion distance of 0. 10.5100 was at least 10 times larger than that of the previously found true sun grazers. Destruction. By 1985, the satellite's batteries were degrading. This caused more and more frequent under-voltage cutoffs, a condition where the satellite detected a low main bus voltage and automatically shut down all non-vital systems. In addition, the last of the three tape recorders failed in the spring of 1985. A normal contact lasted only about 15 minutes, so this was a serious impediment. Special arrangements could be made to string several contacts together. As a result of these failures, an ever-increasing amount of time and network resources were spent reconfiguring the satellite for normal operation. Data collection from the few remaining payloads was severely limited. Because of the additional burden on the Air Force Satellite Control Network, e.g., extra support and antenna time at the tracking stations, discussions were already underway to terminate the mission. This led to the satellite being chosen as a test target for an ASM-135 ASAT anti-satellite missile. The mission was extended for several weeks solely to support the test. During this final phase, the satellite was often allowed to remain in the under-voltage condition for several days at a time. On September 13, 1985, the satellite was destroyed in orbit at 2043 UTC at 35 deg and 126 deg W with an altitude of 525 kilometers, 326 mi by an ASM-135 ASAT launched from a U.S. Air Force F-15 Eagle fighter aircraft. The test resulted in 285 catalogued pieces of orbital debris. One piece of debris remained in orbit to at least May 2004, but had deorbited by 2008. The test outraged some scientists because although five of 78 One's instruments had failed at the time of the test, two instruments remained in operation, and the satellite was what one solar physicist called the backbone of coronal research through the last seven years. Gallery